really special part of our course is the staff, their interests and their expertise. Now, at the moment and for the foreseeable future, three quarters of the modules which we teach in this course are taught either by Professor Philip Alexander or myself. We both have international reputations. We're both past presidents of the British Association for Jewish Studies. Philip is a fellow of the British Academy and an internationally known expert in the Dead Sea Scrolls. He actually was co-editor of one of the major scrolls which you can see on display in uh, the Shrine of the Book in uh, Jerusalem. He's also an expert on uh, Jewish messianism and Jewish history in the Second Commonwealth and rabbinic uh, periods. And all of these are elements which he is teaching uh, to our students in this particular course. My own uh, expertise and interest is in the history and philosophy of Jewish law. Uh, I was trained originally as a lawyer. I taught law for many years. After that, I moved to Jewish law, which was also the topic of my uh, PhD. Uh, I've worked extensively in biblical law, uh, in Jewish family law. Uh, I've also dabbled in law, uh, the Jewish law background in, in the New Testament. I'm very interested in the interaction between uh, Jewish law and modern uh, legal systems and have written uh, about that. So those are my interests and again all of those are reflected in the different modules which we teach within this course. Another very unusual feature of our course which has been running now uh, at Liverpool Hope uh, on a live basis for two years is that we open up the lecture sessions to members of the local community. That means that we have a full class. It means also that we have got interaction between our postgraduate students uh, and well-educated, well-informed and uh, really interested members of the local community, both Jewish and Christian. This is the most unusual feature of any postgraduate course. We have pioneered this uh, here at Liverpool Hope. Uh, the reactions to it by both uh, students, both types of students in the audience have been extremely positive and we're hoping to uh, uh, continue uh, with this. We've designed this course to be maximally uh, flexible, to meet the needs of students with different degrees of commitment, of time commitment uh, and so on. In general, you know, we do try to cater to the needs of individual students. We're not looking for a mass audience, we want to cater for each individual student students uh, and if you have uh, any particular needs that you want to bring to our attention just get in touch with me and we'll talk about it. The distance learning version of the course, it's really the same course but a different mode of uh, delivery, we've already been making audio tapes of the uh, lecture sessions and these are available to uh, our students uh, already. We give them very extensive classroom materials, handbooks with sources and so on, uh, usually in PDF form. Uh, these are going to be made available uh, to the distance learning students as well. All the visuals which we use in class through PowerPoint. These will be made available uh, over the internet. Also the resources of our library which we would expect uh, students to make use of. Um, the required reading will be made available through copyright cleared uh, 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 versions which are prepared by the library and which will be made available again uh, over the uh, internet. <clears throat> We're going to have both group discussions over the internet, uh, not live video, but through uh, a, 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 a mail uh, system, <coughs> a forum. Um, and also, uh, each student will get a certain amount of individual uh, tuition, uh, live tuition, uh, over the internet, uh, normally through Skype. And we're hoping that through all this combination uh, of sources, our distance learning students will get just as good uh, a, 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 a form of tuition uh, as our home-based students. And we're looking forward very much to welcoming an international audience uh, into our classes in this way.